one of my favorite all time. Um, it's not really a story. It's more of like a, a, a change in strategy, like an idea that you had that you told me was when you when you felt like you had maybe cracked the code on Rick Pitino, that you you had kind of thought I can get to him and I can let him understand who I am and, and we and he can let me be me and I'll do what he wants me to do. Um, by just showing up at his office and like asking him how his day was going. Do you remember when we talked about that last time? Like, yeah. how, how, how did that idea come to you? Like, how did you think to, to start just talking to him and see if that might <laughs> lighten him up a little bit? <laughs> hey, I, honestly, it, it helped the, the relationship uh, a whole lot, but the, I, that's just me. Um, it's just me. I, besides, if I didn't, let's say I wasn't a basketball player, I, I've made so many friends here in Kentucky, not not just Louisville. Like uh, people might go, oh, Russ, he knows everybody in Louisville. No, I know everyone I'm, I, in Kentucky. Like uh, I have friends <laughs> from Bowling Green, friends in Lexington, friends in Moorhead. And and um, I, I, I'm just I just like to, to make friends, be personable. When I was out on campus, um, I spent a lot of my time with the students of of the of the of the school and a lot of my teammates you know they, they didn't that's really not something athletes do on campus you know they spend time with the athletes mm-hmm. and uh so when when I wasn't playing I was just like all right well I might as well let me get to know my coach you know I'd let me talk to him and you know see how his day's going at least I can make him <laughs> laugh or bring something to the table <laughs> I mean, you know like <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was funny <laughs> when I was a sophomore and I would go out, he would know I would go out because he would, it would be somebody that knows him that I'm mm-hmm. talking to being friends. And he, and the coach is like, you went out yesterday. And I'm like, how, you know, well, Paul told me, and I'm like, Oh <laughs> shit. Yeah. I, yeah. Me and Paul had a <laughs> Moscow mule at, <laughs> at Molly Malone's. <laughs> you know? It's, <laughs> But it, it it was it was always it was it was just really good to to get a chance to 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 like be in his office and let him know that I was you know outgoing and personable and I think he needed that um at, like even now like we're we're, we're friends um, I think that was an element that he was you know missing um, and I think a lot of coaches miss out on that um, there's a lot of great you know personalities within your team or with at the end of the bench and you know sometimes that can really help 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 your day like just forget basketball a little bit let's talk about life let's talk about you know the the guy you met yesterday that we both know Mm -hmm. and um you know take a five ten minute break (laughs) that's probably a good move and it and it and it clearly helped foster a relationship that um, reaped a lot of success over your last couple of years. Do you still keep in touch with him? It sounds like you guys still uh, stay in touch. Yeah, like I'll just call him randomly. Like it's no, uh, no, uh, no motives, no nothing. Just and just ask him, ask him something random. You know, like uh, what you know, what piece of steak have you had lately, or you know, <laughs> what what glass of wine are you drinking? Uh, uh, how's the team? Who do you yell at? Um, it's just it's just fun talking to him and um you know he's a he became a really good friend and uh, a mentor um someone I can go to and um um and that's and that's not only with coach um P um even with um little P um I was in Minnesota we had we had some cigars together uh that <laughs> that was nice and uh coach Bellotto um I went I went out went, went out with coach Bellotto had dinner with him a couple of times and um, a bunch of my a bunch of my older coaches, Massiello, of course, like that. That's always going to be um, my, my brother. Um, I just caught up with with Ralph Willard not too long ago, the guy who you know kind of brought me to to Louisville. Mm-hmm. Um, friends with my high school coach, uh, a great man, and um, I, I I just I'm, I'm just I'm a bro. I'm a bud. <laughs> 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 what can I say? I'm a bud. <laughs> uh, I'm curious because you you've always been a pretty thoughtful guy when it comes to Patino and you've always had obviously you know him as well as anyone for playing playing with him or playing for him I should say but how do you 
look at like what is your emotion, I guess, and and your basketball view of of his his legacy. And I know I'm sure it was painful for you to see him and Louisville part ways. I'm sure that was really difficult for a lot of you guys who played mm-hmm. for him uh, and were so proud to play for Louisville. But how do you view Patino and like how do you think history will remember him? I think uh, it's 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 tough because uh, people are always going to be always going to be people. Um, I've seen some I've seen some malicious comments and heard some malicious things about him from people who never stepped foot in the state of Kentucky or met the guy. Uh, mm-hmm. I've seen comments from people who who absolutely love him will drive places to to get his book that's sold out in the state because they love him but they've never met him um i think for all the um his all the coaches who who he he's put in situations or places to be successful i think they'll remember him in the in the best light because without coach patino there's not you know, 30 or 40% of a lot of the guys that are on staff in college basketball to this day. Uh, I think what he's done at Providence, UK, Louisville, and every place he's ever been is nothing short of, of legendary. It's, it's amazing. Um, it's great. And his, his greatness didn't only stop. He it wasn't only at the college level. Um, he won in Greece and he won in Greece at the highest level. Um, he's coached at the highest level and was pretty su- and was pretty successful. Uh, given what, given now that I know what goes on in the NBA, it's <laughs> not the NBA is ran by the uh, agents and then players. So it, with coach, I I think that I I, I truly believe that um, he'll be remembered in the best in the best light by people who understand and know the game of basketball. Uh, the people who don't un- know basketball, never played, you know, maybe played on their fifth grade church team and, you know, just has, has a nostalgia. Uh, they'll, they, they might have some things to say, but their opinion isn't really, isn't really uh, worth it. But the people that are around basketball that study the game, that know the game, that write about it, talk about it, live it, breathe it, play it, um, they'll remember him in the the best light. And for me personally, um, regardless of, of anything, um, coach was is will always be a mentor. Will always be um, a, a great friend of mine. Uh, he's he's helped me in life, and that's more important than being helped uh, basketball wise. Mm-hmm. And um, I and I always uh, I want to thank him for you know the opportunity. When eight, seven, nine guys got hurt that season, he could have kept me on the bench, but instead he decided to 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 play me and give me a chance to to fail. That's all I ever needed was an opportunity to fail. And ever since I've left the university, the only opportunity I've ever had to fail was in China. I've never had an opportunity to fail in the NBA. I've never had an opportunity to fail when I got to Europe. And um for that, uh, I that's I I love him forever for that. Yeah, that and that what a what an interesting way of putting it. Opportunity to fail. I feel like that's the ultimate Russ Smith uh, uh, phrasing <laughs> there because it it is like it's you're you're the classic like you know well let's make a potion here let's put together a recipe and maybe it works and maybe it doesn't but if it doesn't work i'm gonna figure something else out and (laughs) make it happen again (laughs) and make it happen all right but it it, but that's what it is um and and that's life and and if you have enough guys in your corner to see it through i never did i had a coach or two massiello and ralph left after my freshman year and I know this guy's name is not too popular in Louisville, but Andre McGee believed in me. And that's a that's a friend of mine. And um he he was very important to my to my success at Louisville. And um and with him and coach, they gave me that opportunity to go out there and go, we didn't you weren't recruited by nobody on the staff, nobody knew you were here, uh, but 
we believe in you. And and that and that same rule applies for the NBA. You know, there's no you can't have you can't have LaMelo Ball without having LaMelo Ball be LaMelo Ball. It's impossible. Like you have to allow him to fail. You have to. Like you have to allow him to have a game where he has eight turnovers. I have to sit here and watch we we have to sit here and watch Ben Simmons shoot not not make a three the entire year. <laughs> you know how you know how crazy that is? That's insane. But he's but he's able to fail. He's able to get better for 82 games. Mm-hmm. Not that is with with opportunity. Opportunity is that's you know that's a that's a luxury. And um there's plenty of guys in, in, in the NBA that get those opportunities and and it's a blessing. And even overseas in China. I average 60 points a game. Nobody gets those opportunities. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> and that and, and that's and that's the most important thing. When when you get an opportunity to fail, um it's 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 a beautiful thing. Well, yeah, and it gives you that freedom to explore what success looks like. It makes you think more in those terms because you're not you're because you're not afraid to fail because you know that there's runway for that you can then worry more about what's in front of you than what might be underneath you absolutely yeah yeah absolutely i agree